As long as we have the sense of being a person, we are up to something, your mind is up to something, it wants to go to the next point, it wants to have the next sensation. While it's having breakfast, it's thinking, what's for lunch? When it's having lunch, what's for dinner? It's always on the move and we know this, something is always moving from circumstances to circumstances, situation to situation. What is it that's not moving? Try to grab it. Don't try to grab it. You can, don't try to grab it. Don't try to grab anything, anything. I said, don't try anything. No. You're here, you see. Don't try anything. Hmm. I hear your words, but they don't make any sense to me. Yes, yes, yes. They are so abstract. Huh? They are so abstract. So abstract. The mind is saying they are so abstract. Can you imagine? I'm speaking to you and I'm saying for one moment, don't do anything, and you say it's abstract. So, what you must be doing all your life, you've been on the move. All your life, you must be on the move. So, one time I tell you, don't, you don't have to move at all, don't try anything at all. And you say, oh, it's so abstract. <laughs> hmm? And sometimes we say, don't do, and then you try not to do. Be nothing, and you try to be nothing. I say, no. See, the mind is there, even that, you see. see just be nothing. It says, okay. <laughs> it says, no, no, I, with nothing, I said. You see, the mind has been involved in everything. This is what has been happening. Everything, it's not giving you a moment's rest. Thank God for sleep. Eh? It's not given. He says the waking state belongs to me. Okay, I won't give one moment free to you, just to be. So now I'm telling you, that's over. No. And you say, well, it seems so abstract to me. I can't connect. You see, how can I live without a job? <laughs> Mind is asking, how can I live without a job? I can not do. So this is very important thing for you, especially. Hmm? What is that in you which is not a doer, not doing? Yeah. Don't use your mind, you see. It's still using your mind. What is it that's not do? The mind turns it into a puzzle. It's not a puzzle. Hmm? The mind turns it into a puzzle, like oh, he's asking me a metaphysical question. And I will tell you, you are there, but you are not aware of it. You are here, but you are not aware of it, you see. Huh? Because always tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It doesn't matter if mine is tick tock, tick tock. But your your eyes are tick tock tick tock with mine, and then somehow you you are caught in the movement. You are in the traffic. So what's going to happen now? Anything you say, I am going to tell you. I don't want that one. Anything you think, I say it's not this one. And you have to mm, come out of that. Even the word come out of that, I don't. I'm afraid to tell you that because then the mind is going to try and do something. <laughs> Be out of that. Come here. There's a little spider, and they take him from you. <laughs> the spider, come now. Look, this one jumping around. Now. Mm. So what we can do? Or not do. Hmm? At least you are feeling something inside. It feels uncomfortable, isn't it? It feels uncomfortable because I tell you something you can't do. Eh? Mind wants everything that it can do. How much is this? It's your own personal Google. 
anything you want, it'll give you some idea. Emptiness, emptiness, you know. You see? So, <laughs> so now I tell you something you can't do and you feel uncomfortable. Feel this discomfort, you see. Hmm? Is it fair to say something you cannot do? You cannot achieve it. You cannot achieve it. So, and yet you have to be it. How are you going to do what you are? This is the thing you came here for and you have got to get it. I don't want to see you leave here uh, being pulled by the mind down the road. Tell me something. Hmm? I'm scared. Yes, you're scared. Yes, that fear is also coming from the mind. There's some place inside you which is beyond scared. Some place be, be inside which is beyond scared, you see. It gives me hope, but I can't. Yes. Eyes who. Who are you speaking now? I'm still very much a person. Yes. The person has somehow filled, like filled the screen of consciousness, like this. Still, you know it is only a screen and it's only an effect, you see. You think they are only a person. No wonder you are afraid. If you feel you're only a person, of course you're going to be afraid. There's no room for a bit of magic. There's no room for some surprise. Everything must be make sense. Everything is in place. This is the person you see. Then this we have to crack him, because it's not a life. It's not a freedom. Survival only. The person surviving only. And you are life. You are life and the weakness of life at the same time. Mm -hmm. So this is just showing that so much we identify with person, you feel outside that person what is there? Outside, beyond the person, what is there? If you take my person away from me, then of course I am going to be afraid. If I take your person away from you, will there be anything there to be afraid? And the person I don't have to take because it's not anything. You just have to see it that it's nothing at all. That it's your it came from you, it came out of you. Just like the spider brings a web outside of itself and then go and live in it. You brought the person out of you and now you're living in the person. That's all I know. Huh? I I think it's all I know. It's all you know. Yes, yes. I don't know what's true anymore. Yeah, this is a good start. So I'm very interested in you. Because something has to happen now. You can't go back down. You cannot go back down the way you came up. Feeling more scared? I'm scared that you say, go. Go? Hmm. Because I don't want to go like, like to say the same as I came. Yeah. I want yeah. to come home. Yes, yes. I'm looking through my portions for you. <laughs> what will happen now? Something has to happen because I can't let you go like that. Hmm? You know also, you know, I don't want to go back like that. So something knows that 
something already knows what that is, that life is not good. So there must be some gap there already. Something knows enough, because if you are one with it, you cannot know it. You just cannot know it. You see? So there must already be some gap is there for you to say, Yes, I cannot I don't want to keep living that way. Because you can see and there must be some power to discern this is not a happy life. It's not enough. I cannot settle for that now. So there is already some distance be there, you see. Mm. So there is the life and there is yourself. You are the consciousness or the consciousness of your life so far. And you say, This this life I don't want. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be in that role anymore like that. I don't want to believe and be in that role now. Mm. If you wrote an autobiography accurately of yourself, page by page, and you say, This is me, this is my life, and somebody took it hmm, and threw it in the fire, huh? are you burnt? No. No. Thank you. So, in the same way, we leave everything aside now. We're going to take your book of yourself about what you've written, all the things you think and all you want, and so on. We put it in the fire now for now. And leave it there, and I'm putting petrol on it, and you are still here. Who are you now? Everything you have taken out, everything you have emptied out of yourself, what you have written, you have put out. Now we put it in the fire. Now, now, what is remaining now? What is here? Who are you here? Take all these things away from you. All your souvenirs, all your ideas, all your everything for a moment, just because I only want to see what is left. If you take all these things out, because there was a time when they were not there, and you were happy. So we grown into adult mind, very complex mind, a lot of things you brought with you, a lot of stuff. So I'm taking them off for you, just for a moment. Take the weight off you for a moment now. Everything off, off, off. Now what is here now? Speak from this place. What is here? Without your stuff, without your gear. Then I don't know who I am. It is okay to not know who you are. There is more space in not knowing who you are than in thinking you know who you are. First thing. Some people are very much have a sense of, I know who I am. Okay, and when you are dealing with them, it's something very tight, very tight. But if you say, "I don't know who I am," but still you are, I am, but I don't know exactly who or what that is. There is a space in that. So be nobody then. Be nobody, even for a few minutes. Be nobody. Hmm? And then, when you want, you can become somebody, if you want. So try and be just now nobody. You are nobody now. Your name is not yours. All the things you have caught in this world, they are only temporary. You cannot keep them. You have got nothing. You are nobody for a moment. Just try and be nobody for a moment. Accept being nobody. You were nobody before somebody gave your name. You were nobody. But there hasn't been anyone who has been called by their parents, Are we going to call you nobody? They want to call you somebody, and they gave you a somebody name. So now you come back to nobody like you was before, for a minute and see. Just try it. You want? If you don't want, it's okay. Then we can try another time. But now I want to see who will do it. Who will do it now? Let everything go, let everything go. Now I am I'm nobody. If you're nobody, do you feel shame? Hmm? What is happening to you? Something gives me allowance. Huh? Something gives me allowance. Allowance, yes, yes. You are allowed to be nobody. Voluntarily. Good. You say, now I have nobody. Hmm? It 
feels relaxing. Hmm? Relaxing. relaxing. I don't have to be relaxing. anybody. Yes, very good. You don't have to be anybody. Nobody has to be anybody. But we can let the world think you are somebody. But you, you know you are nobody. But some part of me always wants to be special. Ah, and that's the part that hurts. And I can't want to kill it. I want to yeah. get rid of it. Yeah, no, you just be nobody. <laughs> Don't try and kill Miss Special. Just be nobody. When you're nobody, do you want to kill anything? What I am sharing with you, the masters of every nation know what I'm speaking. All those who are liberated know exactly, and they, their heart love these words. They know them in a beautiful way. The mind doesn't like these words. It definitely wants to be somebody and the best somebody you can be. So it's not initially attracted to be nobody. You see? So you have to be a special somebody to be nobody. Maybe this is the special somebody you have to be. You are a very special nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you be nobody and then tell me when you are tired of being nobody and when you want to be somebody again. This you will do. Be nobody and then you say, Look, I am tired of being nobody, I want to be somebody. In fact, you have tried being somebody already for so much years in the life. You have been trying. You have been somebody. Now I give you a few minutes to be nobody, and you are smiling. Now you are serious again. You have gone back to be somebody again. <laughs> the master said, "You need nothing to be happy." You need something to be sad. You need something to be sad. You need nothing to be happy. I don't understand. You need nothing to be happy, meaning that you don't need anything to be happy. Because happiness is your nature, you see. But if you are sad, it is usually about something. You can be happy without something. And the happiest is to be nothing. There is a saying, if you want to be happy, nobody can stop you. If you want to be free also, I will tell you, nobody can stop you, except you. Go back to nobody again. I want to look at the face of nobody. <laughs> I prefer nobody. <laughs> somebody? Nobody? And if you speak to people and you they, they ask you who are you and you say I'm nobody. <laughs> huh? Most genuine people will feel very happy to meet you. Because they say listen all our lives we are meeting somebody's. And today we met nobody. <laughs> and we are very happy and then they feel maybe I can be nobody too. I like to be nobody like her. I am not joking only. I am laughing because I am happy. <laughs> Could it be simple like that? For you, you, no sadhana for you. 
No sadhana, no spiritual practice for you. You have the easy way out. You just be nobody. <laughs> Maybe it's the it's the best sadhana. You be nobody. But after it the Buddha was nobody. Master was nobody. Ramana Maharshi was nobody. He's nobody. But there's a trap. I, I, I don't want to. Um, try, uh, want to try to be nobody. I no, I didn't say try to be nobody. I said be nobody. Yeah, but to to watch when I, when I. If I am nobody, or if I try to be nobody. Yeah. And I don't. Well, the thing is that you start off being nobody. Already you are nobody. Already you are nobody. It's not nobody. Is not something you are going to achieve. You already are that. We are all that. But we all have this fantasy about being somebody. <laughs> and look how un unhappy we have become trying to be somebody. I am nobody also. When two nobodies meet, what happens? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Can you cope with my world? <laughs> so you don't have to try to be nobody, you just have to remember you're nobody. It's easier, which is easier, to try to be nobody or to remember, ah, uh, nobody. <laughs> because all the sadhanas in the world is trying to get you to this place. Don't be anything, don't be anything, don't be nobody. Don't be anybody, don't try to be nobody. You are nobody, you are nothing. If you say to the mind, you are nothing, <laughs> who you are calling nothing? Who you think you are? Who are you talking to? I said to nobody. So you think you are somebody? No, I am also nobody. Huh? You don't see the excellence, such an excellent thing is happening to you, and do you appreciate? You don't have to do any spiritual gymnastics. Just you, look. You just don't be anything, don't try and be anybody, don't try and be somebody, don't try anything at all. You are nothing, you are nobody. And if there is insult, because your mind is there, and when your mind is there, because you want to be somebody, And every time you remember you are nobody, immediately you are Buddha. When I say to the people, just be empty, it's the same as telling you to be nobody. You are ashamed to be nobody. Feel the space in you when you are nobody, you are nothing. And you are never ever going to be something. Get over it. <laughs> Say, ah, this is. Oh. It's like if people think you are mad. They leave you alone, no? And then you can do all kinds of things. You can pee in the street and everything. And they say, Oh, it's just Johnny's mad. So you're a bit free. And you're nobody, then nobody will nobody will envy you. Nobody will be jealous of you. Say, so, Me, I'm nobody. Oh, okay. Good. You can be my friend. You be nobody. I wonder who understands what I'm speaking. Thank you so much. Very good. Look, look how many nobodies there are there. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to be one of you. <laughs> <laughs>
there's only one of us. <laughs> Don't think about it, okay? <laughs> huh? I am very happy to speak with you. I was wondering, I wonder if I can find a way for her now. Because if I tell you anything, you must do this and investigate into this and I see that so maybe it's not going to happen. Then I then something say yeah yes remind remind you to be not nothing don't be anything at all. Maybe some people anything you tell them is too much. Uh, uh, uh. Anything uh, uh. they can't do. <laughs> so I say okay don't do anything then. Hmm? Don't even be you. <laughs> Strangely, I feel quite energetic. <laughs> Huh? How are you going to go down now? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so. Now, like this, now you can go now. <laughs> now you can go because you have done it. You have done it. You have found the secret. You have found the secret. I trust you. This is good. You don't have to tell anybody you are nobody. <laughs> this is true, don't you? You don't tell people you are… people tell people oh, they are somebody. You know, they think they are somebody, you know. I love to watch this program called X Factor in England, we watch it. <laughs> Britain's got talent. They say. I love these shows because it's powerful satsang for the ego. <laughs> Many people come, yes, you know. I'm the new legend. <laughs> And whack! <laughs> when Guru Simon get them. <laughs> they, rea <laughs> they realize they are nobody. And what a shock! And a powerful satsang. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You get it or not? Okay, you're no, you're no, you're nobody, so you don't have to get anything at all. It's okay, <laughs> isn't it? You will escape from every trap like that. When you're nobody, you escape from every trap. Nothing can trap you. Don't let other people get better advice out of this than you. You take this to heart, and this is the most. This is immediate, immediate freedom. But I don't know if somehow your mind is going to play with that and turn it into something strange. It's most beautiful. Fear arises. A fear arises. Of what? Hmm? Of being wrong. Of being. Of being wrong. Of being. You said you trust me. I tell you, you are nobody. How can you be wrong when you are nobody? You can only be wrong when you are somebody. The Zen masters have been telling you this for a long time, but the people were too. They had too much mind to appreciate hmm? simplicity like this. Hmm? Too much mind. Then too much mind, too much pride. They cannot accept their nothing. If they accept they are nothing, then they want to be the best nothing. I want to be a better nothing than you. I have the tendency. Huh? I you have the you tendency. see this tendency. And this is from the old. That's why I say for you it's a perfect thing. It's a perfect thing. Let's go from one um, falle, falle, trap to the next. I 
I am scared I'm going to step step in one trap in the next. Then you put it to the test. I am still here. We have a couple of days. If you step into any trap following my advice, you come and tell me before everybody you do it. I have that much faith in what I've shared with you and your capacity to follow through with it. So if you say then it all now everywhere I'm going now is booby trap. Everything I step is a trap. Then you come in front of everybody, tell them, listen. When I'm nobody, I'm in so much trap, so much problems come. Then I want you to do it. Don't spare me. You come and tell them, tell this. By being nobody, I just am so depressed. I'm so lost. I'm so confused. You know, you would need the mind to help you to be that, and nobody has no mind. Nobody has no mind. Mr. Nobody, Miss Nobody has no mind. And to be in sorrow, to be depressed, you have you need a mind. Most people who are crazy, mad, which is most of us anyway, eh? but the really one they catch, eh? they usually think too much, too much thought, too much I, too much personal thinking also, too much personal thinking, and this goes. You end up. You sectioned. How can you be nobody and be sectioned? Hmm? <laughs> she gets it, I think, over there. Eh? Always can be possible, you see. You are empty inside. When people ask you to describe yourself when you try, you feel it's lies, it's lies, it's not true. Whatever I say about myself, it's not true. It's all a lie. And I keep quiet. That's true. <sighs> There's space. Hmm? You try and be somebody, somebody special, especially. Hmm? And trouble come. You see. Don't try to be somebody. Don't try to be nobody. Be nobody. You are nobody. And at the same time, you are the supreme soul of the universe. Being nobody, you are the very heart of the universe. You will see. When you're busy trying to be somebody, you're taken up with all kind of tricks, all kind of tricks, and you cannot relax in yourself. You always have to be a performance. When you see somebody because you want to be nobody or you want to be somebody, when you see somebody, you have to try and be somebody. You see, because it's not natural for you to be somebody. It's all education, all conditioning. Mm. So while we are here, let's give permission to each other to just be nobody. Nobody. You want to go back outside and pick up being somebody that is something else. With nobody, you can even be prime minister of this country, and be nobody. And probably the best prime minister anybody will ever see. Just you're smart enough not to say that. Hmm? Very good. <coughs> Thank you. Carla. Very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Very happy to see you. Yeah. Stay happy like that.
His grace, she takes care of me. She flies me to the deep blue. She brings me. To drown here completely, if we truly want to live, so take a look in every minute. Can't be seen.